So we have some of those ghost boxes that sweep through the channels. But what we're going to set up here, which is the main reason why I really like him, but he's, he doesn't like me. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, the main reason he, he asked us to do this is that we're doing something that's existed before those boxes that scan through the channels existed. This is called direct radio voice. It's an empty white noise channel. And then we run it through a little software to clean it up. And we use an artificial intelligence that looks for, for speech. So when there is none and it's white noise and then it pulls words, it really shouldn't. Added to that, <coughs> if the words are relevant, responsive, commenting on who or what's in the room, astronomical that that would ever happen any other way. So that's what we're going to set up here. So you'll hear something that's it's much different than the ghost boxes. It does not have human vocals from scanning the channels really quickly. So if anything sounds like anybody talking, it should not, for all intents and purposes, be there. Wow. It's, it's, it's you know, if you're familiar with EVP when voices are recorded out of the air, mm -hmm. this is the next purest thing to that. Because it's just white noise, which is used as audio support in yeah. early EVP research in Europe. Is there anything that you want to know, if you have questions you want answered, ask them. Give a little time for a response to come through to listen to. If you ask on top of somebody else's question, you might talk over their answer. Gotcha. Um, but if there's things you want to know, think about them, focus on them, ask them. The sound's going to be coming out of the sound bar here. You heard the white noise I was using before with no, with no vocals involved. So if you hear people talking, even if it doesn't sound like they're talking to us, and they might not be, there's something that shouldn't be there that will sound conversational. Awesome. Um, and... Uh, there's a natural tendency, especially in a little dark setting, doing stuff that if you want to say something to somebody, you might whisper to somebody next to you. Try not to do that because a whisper recorded will sound like a voice that's anomalous. Gotcha. Um, so even if you ask your question to that spirit or whatever, ask it aloud. If you say anything, say it out loud. All right, so I'm going to start recording. That's why I'm putting this here. So cause that's part of what makes any voices that come through. Um, unique and special because the radio won't respond to you so if you ask something instead of it just saying a word if that word's a response to you that's contact thank you who are we speaking with <laughs> Being a medium, I cannot read for myself. I've always wanted to connect with my grandmother, as I have developed my mediumship and always hoped for contact. What Ron Yacovetti did in that DRV session was reunite me and her. It let me hear her voice again. I haven't heard her voice since 2012. The experience was incredible and affirming that there is life after death. Get your copy of Ron Yacovetti's Paranormally Speaking, Knowingly Talking to the Unknown.